Hi friends, thanks for choosing our video. For more videos, subscribe our channel and hit that bell icon for notification. Spider-Man 3 has begun production and with its amazing cast, it has the potential to be the most entertaining superhero movie of 2021. Jamie Foxx and Benedict have been added into the mix as Max Dillon and Stephen Strange respectively. Besides them, and Tom Holland's Peter Parker, Marisa's Aunt May, John's Happy Hogan, Tony's Flash, Zendaya's MJ, and Jacob are all confirmed to return. In fact, Jacob has even shared his new look, which will surprise you at the least. Here, take a look at his recent Instagram story. What is that? I don't know. What are you going to do? I left my suit in the hotel room. Why? Come on, big. Battleon has lost a lot of weight since the last Spider Man movie, and it confirms one major story aspect of Spider Man 3. Battleon couldn't have worked out without keeping Marvel and Sony in the loop because it looks so different from Spider-Man Far From Home. It becomes obvious that a time jump will be involved in Spider-Man 3. It has almost become a regular norm that every film that leaves us on a cliffhanger will have a sequel that either starts with a time jump or involves a time jump in the first act. Yeah, but it's connected to all these microprocessors. That's an inductive charging plate. That's what I used to charge. Avengers Infinity War left us with a big cliffhanger. Initially, the cliffhanger was planned to be left after the death of Thanos at the hands of Thor. But the creatives thought that keeping it after the snap was better. Anyway, the next movie involved a 5-year time jump. Now, we believe that Spider-Man 3 will also have a time jump. Although, don't expect the next film to take place years and years after the previous one. Because it will still have to be in line with the timeline of other MCU projects. So, we reckon that Spider-Man 3 will take place around 4 to 6 months after the previous film. That would probably be enough time for us to believe that Ned has worked out while his best friend has been on the run. Oh, you're using made up names. Um, I'm Spider Man then. The time jump will start off with the aftermath of. Spider-Man's identity revelation, we would probably see how Peter Parker has been on the run away from Aunt May and away from his school. The Daily Bugle.net has been ranting against Spider-Man and the cops have been after him. But since they haven't been able to catch him, it's possible that a villain like Norman Osborn or perhaps even the government would leave a bounty on his head. That way, villains like Scorpion could go after him in order to climb that bounty. Man attacked me for some reason. He has an army weaponized drone, Stark technology. <laughs> now, it will be interesting to see if Peter Parker gets aided by Doctor Strange right from the start, or will he come into the story a bit later? There's a chance of that. Happy Hogan could be aiding Peter from the beginning. It's also hard to predict how Max Dillon's Electro will come into the mix. So we will have to wait and see how things turn out. The neighborhood has a dope suit and I really respect him. What's up, dickwad? <laughs> 